Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz and if you're new around here, we do a butt ton of beauty content, mainly makeup tutorials, which is what you're about to watch. So today's video is part two of my Hocus Pocus series. Today we are doing Sarah Sanderson. So for this look, I wanted to use a, a palette from Kmart. This is the OXX Cosmetics Berry Nine Shade Shadow Palette. I got this for $2 on sale. I don't know if this is still around. This is new to me, but um, it looks like the old packaging versus the new packaging. So I'm not sure if they're gonna revamp it or not, but this is the palette that we're gonna use. It's just really purpley, very beautiful, and I think it's definitely Sarah's color palette for if she was in 2022 and she was glam and this is how she was gonna do her makeup. <laughs> So if you are curious, I have already done Winifred. I will link her somewhere either on the screen or down below so you can go and check her out. And the final one will be on Friday and we will be doing Mary. So this is the look that I'm gonna show you how to create. So if you're curious on how I created it, then please keep on watching. So starting off the look as usual, I am laying down my eye base, which is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and blending that out with a Real Techniques setting brush. Going in with the OXX Cosmetics palette, I'm starting off with the shade Coffee, which is the matte brown in the bottom row of the palette. I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and packing that into my crease. So um, just packing that on and blending it out. As you can see, we want to get quite intense. So I'm just slowly building that up because I would rather build it up and then know that I've you know, got to where I need to then put too much on and have to start again. I am taking that quite um, far into the inner corner as well because we are going for that halo eye. To blend that out, I'm taking the matte light pink, which is called Cupcake, and I'm just taking a clean, fluffy brush and just blending that around the edge of that coffee shade. And I did this quite a few times to really intensify the, the, um, the coffee color, but also have a really seamless blend. I'm also taking my translucent face powder on a clean blending brush to aid in that transition and blending out because I want it as smooth as possible. I'm going in with the shade Cork, which is a really um, warm brown, but it's a satin um, shade, and I'm just going over that uh, first coffee shade. Um, and you basically just putting that in the same area all through the crease close to the inner corner And then I will use the coffee and the cupcake shades and my translucent face powder to blend that out To make sure that it is really nice and seamless, especially being a shimmer Going in with the shade Berry, which is a really pretty um, berry <laughs> purple on a flat brush. I'm packing this on the outer corner of the lid and the inner corner of the lid. This one is really, really pretty, um, but when it blends out, it does tend to go a little bit gray. Um, and what you're seeing me do here is while packing on the inner and outer corners, I'm using the tip of my brush just to put that through the crease and then I'll go back in with my blending brush that I used to lay down the first few colors and start to blend it out uh, but what I've seen before is that berry shade is gorgeous but it blends out to almost a gray so I went in with the darkest purple called fierce and did the same steps over the top on the inner and outer corner and then packed it just with the tip of my brush through the crease and that um, brought the berry back in to the look And then of course went back in with my blending brush just to make sure everything was blended. Going in with the shade Cupcake on one of my clean brushes that I used to blend out and just softening those edges. I want to keep everything nice and soft and rounded 
and then going in with the shade silk which is this gorgeous shimmer white with a purple reflect it reminds me so much of mac vellum just a bit more intense on the purple reflect it's really really gorgeous blending that above my um sorry not above underneath my brow for my brow highlight and then going in with my Too Faced concealer i just tapped a bit on the lid and then looked up to see where my mobile lid will touch my crease and now i'm just using a brush to blend that out and i'm taking the shade tempting on the inner and outer parts of that concealer we are going for a halo eye um, so we need to have a bit of a transition so that it looks 3d so that tempting shade is a really gorgeous um, pinky purple um, i wouldn't say shimmer it has more of a foil finish to it but it's not foil it's a weird one that one then going in with that lighter shade through the center and then taking silk just over the center again to give that 3d effect going in with berry again just on those outer edges to help blend that uh was it tempting shade <laughs> um, and i will go over that a few times just to make sure everything's tapped out and blended nicely then i'm taking my clueless eyelining pen from revolution i'm not sure if this one is a main fixture in their collection but um, this is just the clueless packaging then taking Fierce one more time on a flat brush and I'm just tapping over that black eyeliner to help blend it out to make it not so intense. Then going in with my mascara, this is the CoverGirl Lash Burst Clean um, and it is really, really nice. And then for the lips, I'm taking this OXX Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in Mauve. On top of that, I am also taking the OXX Cosmetics and Matte Lipstick in Sultry. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed. Please leave a comment down below and let me know how you are liking this little glam series. Um, and if you want to see more of different movie characters that are, you know, our childhood and how they would be, you know, in the current day, I think this would be a really interesting series to do. And I am really enjoying it so far. So I'd love to know what you think about this makeup look. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. I I hope that you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.